Okay guys, what's going on? Uh, I'm gonna do a teaching video today on for people that sit a lot at work, desk jobs, uh, truck, truck drivers, or, or you know, they just sit down a lot, okay? So the reason why I'm doing this is because I know a lot of back, and people get back pain and they get a lot of other pain just in general, but there's a certain reason why that happens. And the reason is, is that muscles get stronger and weaker depending on what you do okay so if you are sitting all day for example right here you're sitting all day in a desk like this if you notice my my body is like this and it kind of like a C position so what's happening is my hips there's a muscle called the hip flexors or the psoas major the iliacus whatever you may want to call it but those muscles right there start to get very tight and weak okay so this is what happens. They get very tight and weak because you're like this all day. I mean, they get very tight and, uh, and, and overused. Let's put it that way. And if you notice, my glutes are not doing anything, just getting longer. My muscles. And for some, you know, that's what you want, but not really. You want them tight and strong, okay? Or you want them stronger, basically. So right now, they're underworked. So what you have to do is basically stretch the hip flexors strengthen the glutes okay strengthening the glutes is very simple but complex to the same extent okay the glutes or the butt is responsible for hip extension so right here pushing your hips forward kind of like a thrusting motion i know seems kind of funny but that's what your that's what your butt's supposed to be doing okay now another thing is that if you're sitting like this on a desk notice that my chest is getting flexed and it's not something i'm doing like um, like intentionally it's because I'm in this position and so your chest actually internally rotates your shoulder blades and brings them in towards each other so if I'm like this all day guess what happens my muscles get short and overused so what do I have to do I have to stretch I have to stretch that muscle okay and the same thing happens for your anterior delt you probably feel some pain right in here or you'll feel some pain here because it's weak because when you do this when you're like this all day this part right here your rotator cuff starts to get weak okay it gets long and weak you don't want to shorten tight okay so what you do is you stretch the chest strengthen the rotator cuff and also if you notice some people sit and they have their shoulder blades down and whatnot but their lats are the ones that sit lats or the latissimus dorsi are responsible for depression of the shoulder blade so right here when i'm pulling down if you notice the lat pull downs that motion right there is what the lats are used for the lats bring your shoulder blades down okay and so when you're sitting a lot your shoulder blades are sitting down and what you want to do is break up that little fascia and you stretch it okay you stretch this is how you stretch the lats you can stretch the lats like this i mean hold on to something and just pull away this is stretching the lats okay so last thing is your core okay when you're sitting down your core is not engaged it is supported by the seat that you're sitting on or the backbone and I've seen people like do it on this on the ball and I've seen the studies that actually show that doesn't it's not actually good for you it actually work, makes your hips worse and your muscles not work as well so basically standing up is a little better Okay, actually it's better for calorie burn as well. So if you want to burn some more calories, lose some more weight, it's a better option. Okay, so basically you want to start working on your core. Base, what I mean by that is not doing crunches for days. What I mean by that is strengthening it in a, maybe a plank, maybe a, a Superman's where you, where you do your opposite leg and opposite arm up. Or maybe um, some hip extension, glute bridges, good mornings. Okay, these are great for your lower back, your glutes, your core, your upper back stabilizers. These are great exercises that you can utilize to engage the muscles that you need to engage. Okay, so I'm going to just recap it, bring it all back together. Okay, stretch the hip flexors. Stretch the hip flexors. Okay, so one way to stretch it, bring your knee up, I mean bring your knee back and kind of lean forward a little bit. Okay, this stretches your hip flexors and your quads. Now you want to strengthen your glutes, hip extension, right? Like right there. Strengthen the core. You can do a plank, supermans, whatever it may be. 
Uh, stretch the chest, stretch the shoulders. Right here, I'm stretching my shoulder and I'm looking away so that it elongates this shoulder part right here, the sternocleidomastoid. And then you want to strengthen the rotator cuff. So right here is the rotator cuff. Right here is the rotator cuff. Right here is the rotator cuff. Okay, those are basic muscles that you need to be stretching. Oh, and I for, almost forgot, your lats. You want to stretch your lats, okay? These are your lats, the ones that bring your shoulder blades down, okay? Stretch your lats. Those are important for everything, okay? So this is one way to prevent injury before it starts. All right, so if uh, you guys don't have any other questions, until next time, stop guessing and start progressing.